Hi guys, how are you this morning? I'm sorry I'm a little bit late, like 45 minutes late for this live. I, um, I was running a little bit late basically and uh, although I woke up quite early but I just, I don't know how I spent my time. I um, took my dog for a walk and I usually call my mom when I am walking and we just stayed on the phone for a longer time than usual <laughs> and so yeah but anyway i'm here so today it's day 10 of the artist restarter challenge and today i am drawing one anatomy study of the back torso which i realized i actually did on day uh, eight on tuesday so instead what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna switch what i was gonna Suppose I was going to be supposed to do on Tuesday, which is uh, the front torso and then draw three dancers in dynamic poses. So I'm going to start with the uh, dynamic poses for the dancers and I'm going to just quickly paste in some references. Mm, and switch into my favorite sketching brush there you go i'm gonna look for some references on pinterest real quick i usually look for like i type something in like uh, dynamic pose dancer oh finding some interesting things So I'm just kind of pasting them in here. One. Trying to paste in some references that are of like different kind of dancing styles as well. That might be interesting. Oh, I really like this one. So let's start with number one and how's your uh, day been so far? I mean, I don't know what time of day it is over in your corner of the world. Uh, for me, it's 10 to 11 in the morning. And as I said, I actually, I wasn't even that late in waking up today. Sometimes I'm, I'm late just because I am uh, literally just like I can't wake up <laughs> but um, today it wasn't even that it was more like um, that I just had kind of like a slow morning like a slow starter and the great thing about um, drawing dancers is that the dynamic poses are usually much easier to draw um, it's easier to focus and recognize the the line of action, which in you know is the line that passes through the center of the body. And you know, one thing I always start with recognizing the line of action, and then the axis of the shoulders and the axis of the hips which usually are opposed to one another in kind of like an X shape. And then it's, you know, time to just kind of block in the, um, the rest of the limbs of the body, but so super quick, you know, like not making too much of a fuss about the detail. And you can generally see if you're doing a good job of uh, kind of placing the 
the limbs in the correct position by checking any negative space in between you know like here for example there's this area that is like negative space in between the legs and you can check if you are keeping it you can do it by drawing like literally on the, on your canvas or you can just do it by eye and of course at the start you know when you're new to um, to gesture drawing it's probably going to be more something that you do with your pencil but then at some point you'll see that you can manage to do it just by eye which is where you want to get And I'm trying to kind of push this whole pose a little bit more because I'm trying to already apply some some kind of stylization, not too much. I mean, it's still pretty um, pretty realistic in terms of in terms of um, in terms of proportions. I'm sorry, my words today are eluding me. Uh, I realized that I'm probably better at streaming at night just because I had more time to wake up basically. <laughs> I'm definitely not a morning person. Even though I wish I was. Like I really really um, envy people who get loads of done in the morning. And I feel like I am kind of like more productive on certain things in the morning. But I'm also... Hey Mano! It's 12.30pm for you. Uh, yeah. And I think, yeah, the drawing the box to check the negative studies is... Uh, the, the negative space is super useful. But... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like, in the morning sometimes I'm more... Uh, I'm slightly more productive on certain things but then for example speaking is not one of them <laughs> definitely <laughs> okay so i'm just quickly gonna increase the size of the sketch slightly i'm gonna clean it up a little bit more because it was kind of like a little bit unrecognizable in some parts Totally a night owl, can do anything in the morning, even if I wanted to, that's Manu saying. And yeah, I mean, I can definitely uh, sympathize.
I have decided to change the outfit of this dancer a little bit just because I don't want to get caught up in uh, drawing all that um, draping because that's really not the point of just a drawing I just wanted to clean it up slightly. So number one is done. Let's move on to number two. These, the value on this uh, picture is actually kind of like, it's almost you cannot see what's going on with her face. action is actually something like this I think I love like dancer ha does dancers hands I think they're so graceful When you're doing gesso drawings, one thing that you can do as well to check your landmarks and see if you're kind of like keeping the proportions slightly correct in relation to one another is to check, for example, where the um, joints are, like the knees here are kind of doing this sort of shape and here they're doing this, the two elbows. And you can do it, it's not by tracing a straight line, but more like an arc and then you can repeat the same gesture of the same arc in your drawing so that you can kind of check, you know, if you are... and like as well in terms of where the... Um, where the dot... like the... the tips of the feet are. <laughs> like this. So this is more or less
what I can see from her face. There we go. Hey, Dina Chad. So I was reading your chat. I plan to draw alongside you, but I am so tired that I just watch instead. We'll take another lesson 21 draw later anyway. That's good. I mean, there's no judgment here. I am literally so tired too. So I, I totally get it. And um, yeah, I mean, if you want to just watch, I'm happy for you to watch as well. So, let's see if I can improve on this very rough sketch. It's so hard to draw the face in this pose, like when it's so far down that you can basically only see the nose kind of thing. It's like, it's really difficult to draw it and not make it look like an alien, basically. Remember to always try and give your muscles like um, al like an alternance, you know, like so if you have one part of the muscle that is um, tense and kind of like round, then behind it should be uh, flat because muscles are not sausages. making the head a little bit bigger as well. And this morning I was talking to my mom as I was saying, which is the reason why I was slightly late to the live. Um, I call my mom like every morning basically 
either in the morning or in the evening, depends on when I have my the my turn to take out Muta for the walk. Because uh, we do like my partner and I do one each per day. And um, yeah, we kind of like fell into this routine, uh, my mom and I, during COVID because we couldn't see each other. So we started like, I mean, I would call her obviously um, if, you know, if we didn't see each other for a week or so or whatever. But um, since COVID, since we couldn't see each other at all, I decided to start calling her every day and uh, yeah it kind of like we stuck to it now even though we can kind of see each other whenever we want now and it's nice it's a good way to kind of like feel to be part of each other's day god i never remember to save whilst i'm drawing i always save at the end of the drawing which sometimes has meant that i would uh, lose you know my whole progress on something so guys remember to save it's important And in, in, in poses like these that are kind of like hard to understand what's going on and where the forces are, always try and uh, try and make your volumes as, as 3D as possible basically. So like try and see where, you know, where the spine goes through here and like how this torso, you know, this chest isn't just a flat shape but it's like it's got volume inside
So I'm trying to, as I was doing before with the ladies, um, I'm trying to make it slightly more cartoony. Thank you, Fruit Nut 16. Thanks for the cool art. Ah. So it's definitely not the cleanest um, sketch I've ever drawn in my life, but I think it'll do. Cool! So here I have my three dancers for today and now I'm going to do... Do I study art? No, I don't study anymore. I, I work as a professional artist. I'm going to do the study of the front torso now. Um, I'm currently doing... Uh, this is like a an art challenge that I set myself for the month of February where every day I do some different exercises. This week I'm focusing on figure drawing because I want to make sure that I don't just work. Uh, I'm, you know, that I'm... Because as a professional artist I do illustrations for books and stuff like that and usually I spend all my time working on actual projects and I forget to just practice for myself so that's why I'm doing this kind of like month of streaming basically and then uh, in March I want to just start streaming more regularly but maybe like twice a week and not every day but for the month of February I'm doing it every day uh, so front torso like anatomy, maybe, no, anatomy is the wrong front torso. Hmm. It's actually quite difficult to find a picture of a good torso to to study idea who this guy is but he might be a good right I don't know who this guy is I'm just using his torso 
not like his face can disappear. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do... Thank you! Thank you, Mano, for the compliment. Um, yeah, I always have trouble sketching people upside down too, as you can see from this one. But I think, I think it was okay in the end. The hand there, it's got like a little bit of a funny thing going on, but whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna just real quick try to do a study of this torso. And I mean, when you draw a male torso, you kind of have um, a few like muscle things that you can take into account. Like, you know, for example, like you have the pectoral here and you have your abs over here. And usually you have very few amount of fat. I mean, unless like, let's, let's talk about a person who's like super fit and doesn't have very much body fat anyway. So they would probably, if they're a guy, only have fat here and here there's a little bit of fat called the pectoral fat which is seated where the pectoral muscle joins up with the muscles in the arm and there's just a little bit of fat there to make sure that you know the joint works properly basically. Uh, but yeah, otherwise men don't have that many fat pads um, in terms of design. Uh, they only have these ones and these ones here. Like everything else, of course they can have more fat like on top of the muscle if they are of a different body weight, but they, like if they were like without any body fat, they would still have these fat pads. Which is different for women because women have many more fat pads all around the body, especially in the kind of like belly area um, because of, you know, biology. So those are like things that you kind of like have to consider when you're drawing uh, male anatomy in comparison to female anatomy or, you know, male presenting anatomy in comparison to female presenting anatomy. Oh, I just realized that maybe this stream is gonna get sanctioned because I'm showing nipples. I don't know, if that's the case, well, I'm sorry. And then you've got all these apps here, and this is actually, um, in Italian it's called dentato. Uh, I can't remember what, it co what it's called in English. It's basically the muscle that there is um, at the joint between the side, up the, up the side core muscles, like the side ab abs and uh, uh, the pectorals. And to be honest, because of the way that um, my style works, I don't... I'm sorry, I'm just having to move the... Ah, sorry. Move the curtain a little bit because the sun was going to uh, really annoy me otherwise. <laughs> uh, but yeah, because of my style, I don't usually um, draw too many signs for the abs. I don't like to um, have the like Super Saiyan effect, basically, you know, like the Dragon Ball effect where you can see all of the abs. I, I don't like that sort of thing. So instead, 
I'm just going to quickly make this a little bit smaller and put it on the side and do like a more cartoonized version of this torso as I would draw it um, if I was, you know, just drawing my own like more cartoony kind of style. And I usually do the chest of a guy with like an emmy circle and then and then just kind of like make it a lot smaller underneath so that I can kind of simplify the shape a little bit more. And the, the armpits are basically like two Vs where you can see that there's the attachment of the uh, pectorals and you can still keep that even in a cartoony way. Maybe those nipples were a little bit big. Basically, in my cartoony style, I just tend to make all the shape a little bit more abstract. something like this basically. I'm just gonna quickly use the um, the liner brush To make something look a little bit more masculine, um, there's usually a trick where you can just draw the lines in a bit of more of a like less round and more um, more. <laughs> Today I can't speak. I'm sorry. <laughs> less round and more angular. Yeah, you can use more angular strokes. And that makes the whole the yeah that kind of like makes the image look more the body shape and the character design more masculine basically as opposed to round soft kind of shapes that are more traditionally associated with female presenting characters although of course I mean this is all pretty much uh, stereotypes so you know you can play with them and you can either use them or use them by contrast by uh, subverting one's expectation you know That would be the way that I uh, cartoonize this torso a little bit. I don't really keep any of the 
um, abs sort of signs. I just keep the um, the lines for the abs and for the fat pads to the side, basically. There we go. From more realistic to more cartoony. Cool. So. I guess that's all for today and I hope that you had a good time and I hope that you have a good morning, a good day, a good night, depending on when you are watching and where you are in the world. And tomorrow we are going to do day 11, which is uh, one anatomy study of the leg and three fighter poses in dynamic poses. So I'll see you tomorrow and I hope you had fun. Thank you for joining, thank you for drawing with me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys! <laughs>